It's getting hot in here. So Nike did not just puke on us. All right, so hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we're doing another uh, uh, episode. There we go. Um, In the last episode, what happened? Oh, he said he was going to take us on a date after everything. Now we're finally going on a date. He was going to say I love you first before going on a date. Make it make sense. Anyway, we are going to jump into it and see what the tea and drama is for today and just see what happens. So let's get into it. All right. Finally, my parents haven't heard. Have you decided what you're going to wear? Chill, guys. It's a date. It's not a wedding. He asked me yesterday. A dress. It's the... Um, a dress? Question? I don't know, guys. He literally asked me out only yesterday. Hold on. I know what's happening here. Somebody is super nervous. Oh my god, you're falling for him so hard. No, I'm not. I'm actually busy for love. You, I, I'm not. No. No, I'm not. Right now, music is the only thing that's on my mind. But Jason Torso is not an instrument, my dear. Lexi, I'm not catching feelings for that man. Oh, I don't mind if you do. <laughs> Out of everyone, you think it's you? Okay, that's funny. Not you again. Discussing me with your friends, huh? Yeah, I'd rather jump off a cliff, to be honest. I actually have good news for you, Ivy. You're breaking up with me. We're going on a date tonight. <laughs> you know what? That cliff is sounding so nice, like today. But I'm already having my dream date with Jason. I knew you'd be very happy, but I literally made you speechless. Yeah, the horror on her face really just screams happiness. Yeah, you know how to surprise your girlfriend. You know, please don't kiss us. And in case you decide to cancel me or not show up on time, remember that I can destroy you and more with just one swipe. Can't wait for our rendezvous. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I dreamed of this moment ever since we broke up. Yeah, I'm sure you have. You're a psycho just like your cousin. I guess it runs in the family. You wouldn't have to if you didn't cheat on me. Let's focus on positivity today, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, positivity number one. I'm so glad that we found out that you cheated on us because then we wouldn't be with Jason. I truly miss you, Ivy, and I regret what I've done to you. My date with Jason starts in an hour in this exact same restaurant. I need to think of how to get rid of Tristan. And that's when I said, what, huh? Are you okay? Yeah, just mouth refreshing spray itching my throat. Oh, your breath stinks that bad. <laughs> Maybe you want some water? I'm fine, babe. The date must go on. Welcome to Cherry Shore. I'm Joanna, your waitress today. Are you ready to order? Why is Tristan looking so eager at her? That's scary. Oh, hey, Joanna. Do they know each other? Of course. Is he seriously flirting with the waitress in front of me? Right after an apology for cheating. <laughs> you know what they say. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yes, thank you, Joanna. You're the cutest. What the fuck, <laughs> you guys? Honestly, if a man did this, the way, oh, the anger would come out so quickly. <laughs> I ordered for both of us if you don't mind. I do, but sure. Just like you always did. Tristan, are you sure you didn't get poisoning by that spray? Cause I sure hope you did. I'm fine. Oh, ew! He did not just puke on us. What the hell? Oh shit. I'm so sorry. I, I just go to the damn bathroom. Gross. Why am I not surprised? Ivy? Oh, he brought his flowers. Pink looks good on him. Jason? What are you doing here so early? And what happened to your outfit? Um, um I got puked on. That's a long. Tristan puked on me. Yeah. yeah. Tristan puked on me. You mean your ex? Jason, you have to hide somewhere so Tristan doesn't notice you because otherwise he'll post that picture of us. Oh my God, are you two on a date? Will you be mad if I said yes? But what about us? What about us? What about Tristan? Listen, I'm doing this to save you, okay? So don't be getting mad at me. You think I wanted to go out with Tristan? Give me some time to get rid of him and then I'm all yours. But now you have to leave. No. No? I'll wait here. Are you crazy? What the hell? I prefer to watch you too. So in case he gets too brave, I'm here. <laughs> okay there. But Jason, <gasps> uh, I'm back, babe. Hmm, yay. Sorry for taking so long. I need to brush my teeth. You just carry a toothbrush with you? Okay. Because how would we make out then? Ew. Make what? Come here, Ivy. If waitress is stinky, kiss it. How stinky? Oh yeah. Hell no. I'm paying for this so quickly. Uh-uh. Oh, sure. <gasps> oh, did she puke on him too? Oh no, you vomit from my romper got on your shirt. Do you know how expensive it is? I'm so sorry, babe. It's all right. It was just an accident. You know, Ivy, whenever I look at you, I realize you're the one. Again, full of shit. And I thought I was the one. Tristan, dare to explain? Are these all the girls that he's been with? Hmm. Nathalia, Grace, what are you doing here? Tristan, who are these girls? Oh, don't worry, I can explain. No need to, I already get it. Oh, you always find the right words, don't you? You better run or I'll kill you. Tristan, you're the biggest liar. Helen too? All of you are dumb, you really believe him? Girls, can we please all calm down and figure out what is happening? Great, and now let's discuss. Uh, the way he ran. 
What a chicken shit. Don't let him escape. You guys have so much. Karma never misses. I told you I was here to help. How did you do that? A magician never reveals his tricks. But to be honest, I just did what Tristan said would do. I posted a short epi story of this place and filmed him too. Just destroyed him with one swipe. You're the best. I don't know what I'd do with you. I owe you the second one. I don't know what I would do without you. Probably would smell his terrible breath. Since Tristan won't bother me anymore, I could change to something better than this dirty romper. Oh, I'm definitely changing because that is so nasty. Oh, okay. She's cute. Okay, not the cheetah print. No. By the way, this is for you, Ivy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, wow. I love it, Jason. Thank you. So, what are we gonna do now? I prepared a really romantic date for both of us. Oh, okay. That's so cute, a little picnic. Do I have to pay for this? We can eat some good food and drink wine. I get quite talkative after a few sips. This could be a nice chance to become way closer. Oh, uh, reject him. Be have I can't reject him. I went through all of this just to be with him. So of course I'm gonna go on and spend the coin. Oh my God, a romantic picnic? I really hope you'll like it. Just take me there already. Oh wow, this place is majestic. I knew you'd love it, so I decided to make our first date unforgettable. Also, we're all alone here, so nobody will find out our secrets. You got anything to hide more? Ask me and see for yourself. This is my chance to see, oh, okay. Oh, what's your love language? Physical. What is your love language? I love giving presents to my loved ones. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. And of course, hot makeouts. Oh. Course. And of course, I'll do anything for my love. Oh, my love. My love. <laughs> There's nothing more important in my life than the ones you love most. What was the best day of your life? You might think it would be related to football because it's in my veins, but I give this prize to the day I found Polly in a shelter. You rescued her? I had no idea. My car broke down on the way to the airport. I missed my flight and was very mad, but then I noticed the shelter and then let my intrusive thoughts have went by on train. Polly was a two-year-old dog who was abandoned by her previous family because she got sick. They simply didn't want to cure her. To leave a family member like that? Sometimes I'll never understand how people can be that cruel. So even though I was late and got fined at work, fate has given me my little best friend. Do you see a future with me? Um, <laughs> you're asking an 18 year old that? No, nah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, that's really something. I hope you realize I'm crazy about you, Ivy. I want to know it's mutual. No, Jason. I'm here with you all alone in some random forest. So of course, I don't even like or trust you. Like, of course I like you and see us being together in the future, silly. To be honest, you got me for a second. Boys. The rest of the day was going so well. Oh, she's dancing in the car. She's getting comfortable with him. Okay. We listened to music and sang all the way home. Or at least I thought so. I have another surprise for you before we go home. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh my god, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Take notes. Take notes, everyone. Oh wow. I always come here when I want to stay alone and think. But you brought me. I guess I trust you enough to share this special spot with you. I feel very special. Stop. I'm so honored. Yeah, I'm so honored. The stars are so bright tonight. Yeah, brighter than the city lights. And they are so beautiful. I know something that is way more beautiful than all stars in the galaxy. And it is here on the ground. Aw, you're smooth. Jason made a step and stood in front of me. Hey, you're blocking the view. Well, my view is right in front of me. Jason, he put both hands on the hood of the car, making me stay in between. You're the most beautiful woman I know. And I can't spend a day thinking about you. You make my heart and my mind explode. Oh my God. Jason's palm softly caressed my waist, making my heart skip a beat. I turned my head away to ease the heat inside me, but Jason decided otherwise. Oh, oh, okay. I want more. Grab his hand and move to the back seat of the car. <laughs> the back, the back seat. <laughs> no judgment here. I want to go home. I want to go home. <sighs> Guys, do I spin the coin? Do I go in the back seat with him? Is that a bad idea? <laughs> Is that a bad idea? Probably. But, you know, life's full of bad ideas. And you just gotta go with it sometimes. Oh, we're, I'm gonna be, oh my, like, close your eyes. I'm so uncomfortable already. It hasn't even started. I climbed over him and pinned it against the back seat of a car. Oh, you're so creative. And you were too talkative. I wrap my arms around Jason's neck and then put my right hand on his chest. I could feel his heartbeat going faster as I made any sharp move. Our lips were playfully brushing against each other as if we wanted to breathe each other in. We were addicted to each other. And we kissed, and this time without any small breaks. It got too hot in the car. It's getting hot in here. So we're not taking off our clothes. Maybe. The windows in the car had missed it up. Okay, enough is enough. We couldn't resist the heat anymore. We saw walk places and Jason pinned me against the leather seat making me gas. I'm confused. So are they just like making it? I don't, I don't really want to know the details. Jason parked his car at the close parking so we were walking home together. Who are these people? Oh, check out those legs. Ew, gross. Oh, wow. Do you have a lighter? Sorry, I don't smoke. I was asking the chick. The chick? Please, if someone referred to me as a chick, I was, oh. Oh, no, today's not the day, uh-uh. He asked, he said, we don't have a lighter, I'm not a chick, ignore him. Um, 
the first one. As he said, we don't have a lighter. Oh, doll, why is your voice trembling? Well, you gotta give us at least something. Move out of the way. How about my buddy Wild Joe gets to have fun with your girlfriend? I'm sorry, huh? Y'all are crazy. I'm gonna karate chop you. And give me your wallet, golden boy. You two are so miserable and disgusting. Do you even have any dignity? A guy with a medieval greasy haircut and a middle-aged man in beach slippers in town? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go cry yourselves to your mommy. Look at what you've done. You make my wild Joe cry. My wild Joe? Okay. And we'll do it again if you don't get out of the way. You should cry. Yeah. Well, your friend should have been called Crybaby Joe then. You'll regret it. Uh, not for him punching him. Stop it. It's too late now, stupid woman. I'm sorry. You look like Lard Forquad or Lard... Lard... <laughs> Lard... Lord Farquaad's brother-in-law. Okay? Wild Joe's unstoppable. <gasps> oh my god. Your mother never loved you. How did you find out? Grab his wallet and run. Jason, are you okay? I feel dizzy. Oh no. Our man just... Got knocked out. Oh no. Let's go. I have a first aid kit at home. Ouch! That's for acting like a hero too much. Ivy, I wouldn't forgive myself if I hadn't done anything to protect you from them. But look at your handsome face now. She's like, it's ruined. Now we can never be together. All bruised. If every time I would lead here, I would fight for you every day. Oh, please spare my nerves. Ouch, it hurts to laugh. What could I do to ease your pain, Jason? How about a kiss? Oh, wow. He's one of those. But we're in my bedroom. Mama's about to come home. Then we should hurry. I think I know how to make a better way. Take your clothes off. You Listen, we said we better hurry. And she's like, take my clothes off. That's the fastest thing. Girl, you should hurry home. Yeah, you really should. But, you know what, guys? We only have, like, a couple episodes left, so we might as well just, like, take advantage of it, right? <laughs> oh, why is she standing on the bed? What the hell? Guys, how about this view for tonight, Jason? Why is she standing on the bed? Ma'am, you like it? What are you doing? I honestly hope her mom catches her because, like, why <laughs> is she dancing on the bed naked? What the heck? I'm just having fun. Oh my God. And now your turn. Oh, why, why? This is so weird. Why is this so weird? Ew. <laughs> then I grabbed his elbows and pulled them on myself. You're messing with my heart. I don't want you to feel pain. Uh, okay, all right. Um, I wrapped my arms around his neck and we kissed. With every turn, the kiss got deeper and hotter. Oh god, it's about to happen. What? No? Ivy, I'm home. Yeah, you better get the hell out of my house. Bye. You gotta go. You gotta go. My mom will kill me. Will mom find out your secret affair with Jason Moore? And what will be the consequences for both of you? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm scared. Honestly, I hope her mom catches her because I'm tired of her. She's, she's really just playing with fire at this point and it's so funny. But guys, that was that episode. Um, that was a lot. A lot happened in that episode. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.